All right, I'm going to uh, bombard you guys with yet another mowing video. But uh, this time it's something we've been waiting for for a while. As you guys see, as you can see, um, I worked on the mower deck for the 210, the Model 47 deck, the well, 46-inch deck, and I got it all back together and working. And uh, I finally got all the little kinks and stuff out of it. And today we're going to take this thing out and mow for the first time now that the whole thing is adjusted properly and I'm not going to have any problems with, you know, throwing belts and uneven cuts and vibrations and stuff like that. Now it's all straightened out. I've done a couple test mows with it, but I uh, haven't really gotten a chance to try it out, you know, in its uh, full working shape like it should. So, um, this tractor had a 39-inch, well, 38-inch uh, Model 39 deck, which was a three-blade deck. When I got it, that thing, it was worn out, but I mean, it still had some life left in it, so I fixed it up and sold it. And then back in November, if you guys remember the video, I went on eBay and I bought this Model 46 or 47 deck from a dealer about an hour and a half from me for 200 bucks, And it was a good deal because it came with the discharge chute, which is actually off right now. It came with the discharge chute, all the mounting hardware, an extra belt, and... Uh, the spindles have been rebuilt too. These use dry bearings. They don't have any grease fittings on them. So, um, you know, they, you'd expect them to last longer than your typical bearings, like on these new mower decks. Uh, so, uh, I think in the video, the 111, which is all organized now, I'm getting ready to take some stuff to the scrapyard. Um, I had the deck, if I remember correctly, I had the deck leaning up against here, and that was after I just started working on it, but uh, our friend Robert sandblasted it, and I told him to keep the decals, and he did, but he didn't actually cover them up for whatever reason, so they actually got ruined. Um, so I just, I didn't, I sanded them down and tried to smooth them out the best I could. I'll get new decals for it someday, but not anytime soon. I mean, you know, it's not a trailer queen, but it still looks good, but I don't want it to be completely perfect. Um, so, he sandblasted it down to the bare metal, and it, it only had a couple tiny rust holes in the front, but nothing crazy. And uh, it sat in the corner of the garage over there where that box is for a few months. Then I took it out, sanded it down um, with my hand sander and lots of elbow grease, and got it nice and smooth. Gave it two coats of automobile primer. And I'm not the best painter, just telling you now, but I got this professional finish automobile primer, which turned out great. And then I used maybe five or six cans of yellow um, between the mower deck shell uh, and all the parts like the spindle cover and the draft arms, the lift links, pulleys, all that stuff and the spindles, I had the spindles out, I broke them out with my impact wrench my new, uh, new to me DeWalt electric impact wrench and uh, they were a little hard to get off but we finally got it and uh, the old gauge wheels were all nicked up and destroyed so I actually took the gauge wheels off of the deck for the 111, the 38 inch deck, you can see they're all gone now. <laughs> um, but I took those wheels off because they were in much better shape. And uh, this had the big 6 inch gauge wheels on the rear, but I was having issues with them. Um, they were digging into the grass and I couldn't level the deck properly, so I figured, you know what, I'll just put the, I'll just put the uh, same size wheels all around and I wouldn't have that problem. And sure enough, I didn't. I set them all in the fourth hole. They were set on the second hole when I got them, but I put them in the fourth hole. Um, so it, so the wheels don't rub against the ground as much as they were before. Because they're not supposed to rub the ground. But, I mean, you know, I, I mow a lot of rough ground. So this, uh, this the wheels hit, but it's not too big of a deal. As long as the deck isn't getting scalped. But, um, and I'm not sure if you can see it here. Um... Uh, when I first got this deck, there was a big chunk of metal missing out where this mounting bolt uh, goes, or mounting nut rather, and the guy had a washer on it, a big washer, so I, I had my uncle, since he's such a great fabricator, I had him take a piece of steel and just cut it and weld it onto there, and I drilled the hole through and it turned out great. It's, it's barely even noticeable, I mean you can kind of see the rough edge here, but it's barely noticeable. Um, let's see how this mower deck cuts. These. 46 inch decks don't have the best cut out of these old ones, but this one cuts, it still cuts better than the LA-150 and the Cubby Dat and even the Yard King. I thought the Yard King had a good cut. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, put a new mower belt on it. 
The other one, the other belt broke because I didn't have the right tension set. And then just yesterday, I put this new belt on because the old belt was no good, and I still was having problems with the tensioner. But I, I finally got this handle nice and tight. Now the mule drive doesn't doesn't vibrate like it should. It's a very tight design because the crankshaft is perpendicular to the frame, and the pulley or the uh, belt has to go straight down and then twist. But they made it work. They definitely made it work. So, and then the blades are still original. I'll get mulching blades for it someday, but. Not right now. These blades actually mulch the grass a little bit anyway, because it doesn't make as many clippings as the uh, LA-150 did. So, let me uh, get some fuel in this thing, and then we'll take it out and start it up and uh, uh, see how she mows. I usually mow with the handle about halfway down. Nice cloud of blue smoke. <laughs> Gotta love it.
new magnolia tree. Place the other one. I hate mowing this side yard because it's such a weird shape. The rain keeps coming down, but this thing is still trudging on through it. Brakes are a little out of adjustment too. It likes to keep on rolling. Which could cause a bit of a hazard, but I'm not worried about it right now. The mower deck's not even bogging down, and the motor's not working too hard either, so grass doesn't, grass must not be that wet. See the nice mist that it's making. <laughs> 